Hello and welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. My name is Christian and today's video is about the water buffalo. The water buffalo, also known as the domestic water buffalo or the Asian water buffalo, is a large bovid with origins in the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and China. Today we can also find it in Europe, North and South America, Australia but also in some African countries. There are two types of water buffalo that have been recognized based on morphologic and behavioral criteria. The river buffalo from the Indian subcontinent and going westwards up to the Balkans, Egypt and Italy and the swamp buffalo found in Southeast Asia all the way to the Yangtze River Valley in China. The origins of the water buffalo are still unclear, although the results of a phylogenetic study have shown that the swamp buffalo could have its origins in China and was domesticated about 4000 years ago. At the same time, the river buffalo could have its origins in India and was domesticated around 5000 years ago. History shows that the water buffaloes were being traded about 2,500 years before Christ in Mesopotamia, the location of today's Iraq, by the Meluha people. The seal of a scribe hired by an Akkadian king shows the sacrifice of water buffaloes. There are at least 130 million water buffaloes and there are more people depending on these than on any other domestic animal. They help especially in the cultivation of rice and their milk is richer in fat and protein than cow milk. Carl Linnaeus was the first to describe the water buffalo under the name Bubulis in 1758. In March 2003, the International Zoological Commission decided that the scientific name Bubulus arni should be used for the wild water buffaloes. The color of the river buffalo is mainly black, but some individuals can also have lighter colors. There are also some albino buffaloes. The river buffalo has a relatively longer face, smaller circumference and longer limbs than the swamp buffalo. Their dorsal ridges extend towards the tail and end gradually. The horns of the river buffalo grow downwards and backwards then curve upwards into a spiral. The swamp buffalo are heavy and strong. They have a short body and a large abdomen. They also have a flat forehead, large eyes, a short face and a wide snout. The wither's height is of 133 cm for the males and 127 cm for females. Water buffaloes weigh between 300 and 550 kilograms, but there have been individuals who weighed over 1000 kilograms. River buffaloes prefer deep water, while swamp buffaloes prefer to wallow in mud pits, which they dig up with their horns. Both species are well adapted to a warm and humid climate, with temperatures between 0 and 30 degrees Celsius. Water availability is very important in areas with warm climate as they need it to regulate their body temperature. Water buffaloes eat hay, maize, alfalfa or oats, but they also eat aquatic plants. A water buffalo reaches sexual maturity between the age of 2 and 3 years old. A water buffalo can mate with 100 females in one year. The gestation lasts between 280 days to 334 days, but the most common period is between 300 and 320 days. The bones and horns of water buffaloes are often used to make jewels, especially earrings. The horns are also used to manufacture some musical instruments such as the pepa. The water buffalo is also called the live tractor of the east. Its wild variant is much larger, being able to reach a length of almost 3 meters, a height of almost 2 meters, as well as a weight of 1200 kilograms. 
Their hooves are large and they have two flexible joints close to the hooves which allow for an easier walk through deep mud. The life expectancy of the water buffalo is of 30 years in the wild and almost 40 years in captivity. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel. My name is Christian and until the next episode, all the best.